Now she's started to firm up Trisha's approach to discipline, Super Nanny can get to work on another of Mum's weaknesses. Even when he's talking without a dummy, he's talking as if he has a dummy in his mouth. Yeah. What is important is that we start to communicate with Matthew and allow his speech to develop. And the only way we are going to realistically do that is to take away these dummies. Dummy removal will take place in two stages. The first part of her plan is to take them out of daytime use immediately. Let's have everything rounded up. Put this away now, OK? Can I take this off you, darling? Yeah. Very confidently. Thank you very much. Just, just for best time now. Good girl. Put this away now. I know. Right, all in there. This needs to go somewhere where it can't be reached. In there. Away. To help take the children's minds off their missing dummies, Super Nanny ensures there are ample distractions. You go down there, then. Well done, Francesca. Look what Francesca's building. Are you helping Francesca build a tower? Yeah. Well, Soon, Francesca and Matthew have forgotten all about their previous pacifiers. Francesca. You do one like that, Francesca. Let's be real here. Who was dependent on the dummies? Me. Why? Because I knew that if they was upset or having a tantrum, a bottle of dummy would calm the situation down. Instead of me dealing with the situation and finding out the source of the problem. Keep you nice and warm, just give you another blanket. The more difficult phase comes at bedtime. Good, girl. Good night, darling. Normally, Matthew and Francesca drift off with a bottle of milk and several dummies. Tonight, though, both children will be restricted to just one dummy. Now you drink it here, <laughs> don't it in the bedroom. Before he can get his, Matthew has to get used to another of Super Nanny's changes. Good boy, it's nice and hot. <laughs> Wanna go indoors and drink it? She's replacing his nighttime bottle with a cup more appropriate for his age. Mm. Where do you want to go with it? <laughs> he's not happy, but his bedtime dummy helps him forget about the bottle. Tonight you're gonna have a dodo, yes? <laughs> Just have one. He doesn't know it yet, but this dummy will be his last. Knowing that he was going to have a dummy tonight, it was sufficient enough to get rid of the bottle. If you think about it, he's done very well. He's not had a dummy throughout the whole of today. And he's just having it for sleep time. And he's not had a bottle, which is marvellous. 